My neighbor just dropped off the sweetest little Christmas gift. It's one of those things where you put all the stuff into a pot and boil it and then it makes your whole house smell good. I wanted to make one of these so I'm so excited. You put all the little directions on here. All you have to do is slice open the orange and then put two to three cups of water in a pot and boil it or simmer low. What does simmer mean? Is that like boiling? And then you can also add vanilla and water as needed. I'm so excited. I can already tell that it smells super good. And I'm so excited to have my house smell like this because I just cleaned everything. So let's cut open this orange. I just took everything out of the bag and it already smells so good. So I'm so excited for my house to smell like this. I love the smells of Christmas. It's open faced. That's open faced. Yeah, why do you have two pans? I didn't know if I was going to need them both. Me and Mark are making pasta for dinner right now and watching Bojack Horseman. We're on the last season, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to find a new show to watch soon. The pasta is like one of the three things we know how to make. So we're making pasta for dinner tonight. gonna go to Pilates this morning but it didn't end up happening. Now I'm getting ready to go get some Christmas nails. I am so excited to get my nails done. My best friend does my nails so it's always fun to get to see her like every three weeks. I had a little slow start to my morning today because my cramps are horrible when I woke up. I'm gonna put some inspo pictures on the screen of what I'm thinking for my nails. I kind of want to do something white and Christmassy with maybe like a red bow or something. I thought I knew what I was gonna do and my nails were long but I don't think it'll look as cute on short nails. So I'll probably do something around these but we'll see what I end up doing. And I'm also going to try and recreate a Pinterest hairstyle today. I'm either going to do this one or this one. I tried this one out last night to make sure I knew how to do it and I think it turned out super cute. I just finished getting ready for my nail appointment. Here's how the hair turned out. I think it looks cute but it's just a little uneven. I don't know how to fix it though so I'm just going to leave it. I have like 30 minutes until I need to leave. I'm just going to use that time to hurry and clean up my whole house and make my bed. I also need to take Otis out and then we'll be on our way. Okay we're on our way to the nail appointment. My nails are literally hurt from ripping all of them off. Otis is very excited. He doesn't look excited, but I swear he was jumping around when I told him we were going to go in the car. <laughs> he likes my okay, I just got back from my nail appointment and my nails literally turned out perfect. So I did this white like glittery color and then we did a little bow on it. Even though they're short, I love them so much. I think they turned out so cute and they're going to be perfect for Christmas. It's been a while since I left because we ended up going to Swig and taking the puppies to get pup cups. So it's like 5 p.m. right now, but seriously, the nails turn out so perfect and I actually enjoy having short nails, so I don't mind them being short. Also guys, I came home to the sweetest present from my roommate. She's going out of town and she's going to be in Hawaii during Christmas. So she gave me my present now and look how freaking cute this is. First, we have this cutest little flower vase. Also, the gift card and a handwritten card. She's literally the best. I love her. My dad is coming over right now to see the new concrete that got poured. He's also bringing his dog. So, Otis is getting a lot of exercise today because the dog's played nonstop during my nail appointment. I'm surprised he's even awake right now. <gasps> it's your best friend. Hi, Dad. Let me see it. My oh, dad's I been did. growing out his mustache for a year yeah, since January. Year. Yeah. It's like, did you put stuff in it? Yeah, wax? I, I wax it. That's the only way you get this perfect shape. <laughs> No. Kimbo, hi baby. Look at this picture from. Oh my god! Wait, know. did you do that on purpose? Yeah. The four? Yeah. Four you decided you didn't like it for today. Well, I was at work today, so. I just... <laughs> my dad and his dog just left, and me and Mark were gonna go see the Tree of Life. We've gone for the last two years, so this would be our third year going. But I just do not feel good. I started getting a really bad headache, and now I feel like I'm just having like body aches, and I also have a sore throat. I don't want to go and be around other people, and also I just don't feel good, and I don't want to get in the car. Mark's been sick for the last like week and a half. I just thought I wasn't gonna get it, but I guess I was wrong. It sucks because I don't want to be sick the week before Christmas. You know when you can just feel yourself getting sick? That's how I feel right. Right now. Oh, this feels so good. But anyways, we're just gonna stay in tonight and watch a Christmas movie. I'm gonna put on some Christmas pajamas. Hopefully I'll be feeling better tomorrow and we'll still be able to go. We'll see, because if I'm getting what Mark has, he was sick for like a week and a half. My body's starting to hurt so bad. Just took medicine, but it hasn't kicked in yet. I'm also on my period right now and I've been having really bad cramps all day. So it's probably just better if we stay in. But here's my cute little matching pajama set. I got this at Target and it's so comfortable. You know, just have matching ones. <laughs>
letting Mark open one present early. Just find one under the tree that has your name on it. There's many. Just pick one of them. Yeah, you can open that. <laughs> or not. Don't knock the tree over. I don't know what all these are. <laughs> then just pick one. Let me look at this side. It's a cute look. You can only pick one. Wait, let me see what it is. Yes. One pair of pants is good and one's good. <laughs> you take the question you want. They're just plain jeans. I just wanted to get you denim jeans to wear when we take pictures because you never have any like plain clothing. Okay, open up the other pants because those ones are cooler. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll just open one more present. Ah! Yeah, these are them. I already know what they like. Here's the first pair of jeans I got marked. Those look so good on you. You like them? I do. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Mark's uh, friends are watching my YouTube video right now. <laughs> Morning guys. I'm getting ready to go to a buddy to out play with my family. We usually go to a Christmas carol every single year, but we're switching it up this year and going to Buddy though. I am a little bit congested, so I probably shouldn't be going. But I'm just not gonna breathe on anyone or get too close. I also can't hear. Anyways, it is what it is. I am really excited to go though. I am like 99% sure Mark got me sick. Although he claims he didn't. He's literally been sick for the last like week and a half, and I really thought I wasn't gonna get it. But anyways, here we are. I'm hoping it will just go away like today or tomorrow hopefully because i really don't want to be sick for christmas but we'll see i did just take a bunch of medicine i'm feeling a little bit better right now otis is getting his hair cut today i actually need to leave to drop him off in like 20 minutes i am so freaking excited for him to get a haircut it's been over eight weeks since he got his haircut and he is looking pretty scraggly I'm most likely not going to be able to pick him up from his haircut. I'm going to be at the play, so Mark's going to have to get him. I won't see him until I get back from the play later. When I do see him, I'll definitely update you guys. I really like how the girl that cuts his hair does it, though. Honestly, though, it is so expensive. I want to learn how to do it myself. So I know that he hates getting his hair cut, so I'd also rather have someone do it so he doesn't hate me. Mark has been begging me to open more presents today. Just wait till Christmas to do our stockings. I'll say I might, Kate. We'll have to see. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Okay, I'm all with my makeup. I need to take Otis right now, but I'm going to show you what he looks like before. Hi, buddy. He is so fluffy, but he's starting to get like scraggly. I feel bad because he hates going to the groomers, but it's part of being a dog. He's so cute. We're just going outside real quick before we leave. Go potty! I caved and me and Mark opened all of our Christmas presents. I got this Jerf Avenue robe that I wanted for like a year. And it's always out of stock and somehow we found it. Then I also got this heated blanket. Uh, Mark got this hoodie and his shoes and those pants, but yesterday. And then I got him some just plain t-shirts because he doesn't have like any. Then these Skims underwear and some new socks and some new Pure. And then we're also going to Luke Combs next summer, but I told him about that forever ago when I got the tickets. I just left my house. I'm on my way to go pick up my sister. I tried to do something cute with my hair, but my hair is kind of greasy, so I just threw it up into this like bubble braid. I'm so excited to go see the play. I actually love plays. <laughs> Okay, I just got home from the play. Here's Otis with his little haircut. He kinda always looks a little bit weird when he comes home because he's not curly at all, he's all fluffy. I think he looks so cute. Once he gets a little bit wet, he won't be super curly anymore, so we need to spray him. This, you're so cute. Good morning, guys. It's been a little bit of a rough start to the morning so far. First off, I woke up with this massive zit on my face. And once I got out of my bed, I realized that Otis had peed in my bed, which he did when he was a teeny tiny puppy, but he hasn't done in so long. He hasn't even had an accident in months. I don't know if he's just not feeling good or what happened, but me and Mark hurried and ran to Chick-fil-A breakfast. First, they almost didn't hand us our drink. Then they got home, I realized that they didn't even give us the right thing. Anyways, right now I'm driving my car to Big O Tires because I got my lift kit and new tires and everything put on like a month ago. And now they have to check everything and tighten everything, make sure everything still looks good. So I'm driving it over right there and then Mark's gonna drive me back home. Also, I forgot to mention, when we walked outside this morning to go to Chick-fil-A, Otis ran in a puddle of mud and then jumped on me, put it all over my brand new coat. And it's also only 10 a.m. So it's been eventful this morning. There's a train passing. Anyways, it's been a little bit of a rough morning. We're still gonna have a good day today. I just picked up my car and unfortunately we have some bad news. Apparently putting the lift kit on it bent something. From what I understand, it has to get the axle replaced. I don't know anything about cars, so that could be completely wrong. But the bad news is it's $1,000 to get it fixed. And I've literally had my car for two months and I've already put $6,000 into it. This is where I start having regrets on buying this car. Okay, but to be fair, the $5,000 I put into upgrades in the car, this is like the first thing that's gone wrong, but I've also only had it 
for two months and it's only a year old. But I feel like I shouldn't be having any issues. This is where I regret selling my RAV because she literally had zero issues. My car was like 10 years old. I drove it for a year and it literally had zero problems. The regret of getting the Bronco is starting to get to me. I do love driving it and it's super fun and nice. It's super fun to be able to take the roof off. But at the same time, why have I already had to put so much money into it and it's only been two months since I bought it? Fuck, I'm so frustrated. Me and Mark are about to go on a little Christmas date. We're gonna go to the Tree of Life because we're both feeling better today. And then we're also gonna drive around and look at Christmas lights and probably get some food. I'm so excited. We do this every single year and it's so fun. So Otis is gonna come with us this year because you only get out of the car for like two minutes. So I'm just gonna leave the car on and lock it. But I don't wanna have to leave him home alone the whole time we're gone. So I'm just gonna bring him with us. Otis, are you so excited? from swig on my story yesterday this girl messaged me and said she works at swig and to get some like adam add-ons in that drink so the drink i got is a strawberry breeze and then i added mango puree and frozen mangoes she said it's really good so i'm excited to try it Get all the little fruit floating there oh my gosh that's so good that is so good and i just sucked up a little mango this is literally amazing i want to get this every single time now it probably cost me like seven dollars for this drink but it was totally worth it anyways me and mark are driving up the canyon right now because there's no snow down here but there's snow up there and i need to see some snow to feel christmasy notice is coming with us this is so depressing there's no snow and it's all just dead and so ugly up here usually all of this is covered in snow in the winter finally some snow i love all these pine trees they're so cool we're so lucky to live like five minutes away from this we are so lucky and you guys i just showered and now i'm getting ready for the day and i'm just thinking that being a girl is literally so fun sometimes i just showered put on my cute little robe did my skincare now i'm doing my makeup gonna do my hair like why is it just so fun to be a girl sometimes but then at the same time my periods are literally from hell so maybe not anyways i didn't film much yesterday because not much happened and i don't really have that much planned for today either but tomorrow is gonna be super fun i'm still trying to decide if i'm gonna include this whole weekend in this video or make another video for it but i'm gonna go stay at my mom's house for Christmas. I'm going bowling with Mark's family on Christmas Eve Eve, so tomorrow. And I'm going to my stepdad's family's Christmas party. Mark's coming with me to that. And then for Christmas Eve, we have these traditions that we do every single year. So I'm excited that I'm going to film it this year. But I am just so excited for Christmas. I love watching people open the presents I got them. And I got some really good presents this year. So I'm so excited to watch my family open them. This is also my first Christmas with Otis. He's going to come stay at my mom's house with me. And Betty and Fiona, my parents' dogs, are there. And they all get along pretty well. Also, I did end up buying a GoPro. I'm just setting it up right now and I haven't really figured out how to use it yet. I'm gonna bring it to Hawaii and I'm so excited. Marson's it's literally impossible to cover. I put like five layers of concealer on that and it will not go away. I hate when I pick up my skin right before I'm about to see all of my family for the holidays. I also just got makeup on my robe and it literally makes me want to cry. Yesterday I went through and tried on every single swimsuit I own. So I'm trying to see what I want to bring to Hawaii and also I have a lot of swimsuits that I needed to get rid of. I have so many little baby hairs right here. They just stick straight down to my forehead but I always just glue them down with this eyebrow gel. I swear I didn't used to have those, but the last like year they've been there. Yeah, switch my makeup and here's my outfit for the day. So I'm just kind of wrinkly. This is from Free People and can't really see my jeans, but they're from Cotton On. I'm just gonna let my hair keep air drying because I don't want to deal with it right now. I'm gonna take Otis out and I also need to eat something because I'm starving. I just went outside to grab a package that said it had been delivered. And I saw on my porch that my neighbor Brooklyn had left me a Christmas present, which is so nice. She got me these two different sourdoughs. This one is cheddar and jalapeno. And then this one is cinnamon chip. I love bread more than anyone else I know. This was so nice and literally the best surprise to open the door to. There are a lot of reasons why I love Christmas, but one of them is definitely that everyone is just so generous. And I love that during Christmas season, everyone just gets each other presents. It's only my favorite time of year. My gosh, that is so freaking good. Okay, I'm giving this one definitely a 10 out of 10. This is literally amazing. And now I'm gonna try the cinnamon one. I feel like you literally can't go wrong with sourdough bread. Every different kind of flavor of it is so good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I wanna make a piece of toast with this and put butter on it. Mm. This is another solid 10 out of 10. <laughs>